What up? This is my prediction for Carla Esparza versus Michelle Watterson. Um, this is a very interesting fight. Both these girls are in, I mean, they're world class at, at this. They're world class, obviously, because they're in the UFC, but uh, even more so because they're at the top of the strawweight division. Now, when I mean top, I mean, I mean like top 10. So they're def they've definitely fought the best the best fighters in the division. Um they de uh they definitely fought the best fighters in the division. Michelle Watterson is a very well-rounded fighter. Uh she comes from a traditional background as in the nickname karate hottie so she likes to use a lot of sidekicks usually to just measure distance keep distance keep an opponent from closing in on her um she's got a great she's got great hip tosses and throws um and her jiu-jitsu game's not her, her jiu-jitsu game's pretty good she's pretty well rounded she has wins and uh, I think mostly by submission, if I'm not mistaken. But uh, she's she's faced, you know, the former champ Rose. She's faced the former champ Joanna. She's faced everyone. I mean, she's pretty much faced the girls that have been on top up until now. And um, Carla Esparza, the former of uh, what's what's the word I'm looking for? <clears throat> the former inaugural strawweight champ. She's also faced the best in the division. I mean, she's been in the she's been in the strawweight division of the UFC since the inception, since the Ultimate Fighter. So she's faced the best. Her, her, her bread and butter is mainly her wrestling. Um, she, she's, I think she's been improving a little bit in her striking, but it's, it's definitely a weak, uh, it's definitely still a weak point for her. Uh, she, she seems to tense up when things come at, you know, when punches come at her face or whatever. Um... As far as what I see from this fight, I definitely, I definitely see it going the distance, and because Watterson's in it, it's. I think it's going to be. There's going to be a lot of action in this fight. Uh, like I said, I think Aspars is very hittable, but. When she when she shoots in on girls, everyone except maybe Tatiana Suarez, even though I haven't seen that fight yet, she generally takes them down. Uh, ex uh well, Joanna too. I forgot Joanna having the best takedown defense in the division. Or so. Um, uh, besides those two. Her wrestling is pretty good. This fight might take mo. It might happen on the ground more often than not. I uh, see Watterson making a lot of scrambles, and as far as an official prediction, I think Watterson wins it unanimous decision. Um, that's my prediction on the fight. I uh, hope you enjoyed the video. If you if you have anything to add, leave it in the comments below. Leave, make sure to leave a like and go ahead and subscribe. I got a lot more videos on this channel and I got a lot more prediction for UFC 249 coming up. So until the next one, next one's going to be Olenek versus Verdun. All right, y'all take it easy.